river Spree branches out into hundreds of tributaries to form the Spreewald area southeast of Berlin, designated a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. They irrigate fields that yield a cornucopia for the local cuisine. Swiss chef Oliver Heilmeier from the Hotel zur Bleiche values the culinary treasures at his doorstep. Today I'm preparing a brook trout for you, lightly flavored with barley in wild garlic and a linseed oil egg cream. On Good Friday, Catholics only eat fish, so springtime, Good Friday and Easter are all combined. To purge ourselves of winter, we need a light dish like fish. I season the barley with wild garlic. It's a diarrhea and very healthy in the spring. The wild garlic grows in the restaurant's very own herb garden. The chef lets wild herbs grow unchecked here. Now, by the first rays of the sun, we're gathering chickweed and dead nettles. This splendid wild garlic is good for your body. It's cleansing. We also find wild chervil, and we can use all of this in the kitchen. The fish ponds that supply the restaurant are close by. The cold spring water, rich in oxygen, is ideal for breeding brook trout. Time to start cooking. Heilmeier debones and cuts the brook trout into thin slices. It's a relatively fatty fish and a relative of the salmon good for frying and poaching. The brook trout fillets are laid in a stock of mustard, honey, grape juice and vinegar and cooked at a maximum temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. It's important to keep the temperature low. This is a very tender fish and it can't take too much heat. So I brought the stock to a boil and laid the still cold fish in, took it back out, covered it and then left it alone for a bit. The chef pours the warm stock over the fish until it's done. The skin protects it from being scalded. Brook trout is a native species, but still a bit rarer than common trout, at least when freshly caught. Shallots are steamed in butter until transparent and added to the barley, which has been hulled and processed in local Spreewald mills. Pearl barley is a relatively old grain that often used to be used in soup. We're a bit more modern. We take inspiration from Italian cuisine and make a kind of risotto out of it. The risotto is then seasoned with chopped wild garlic to give it a more intense taste. Finally, it's time to make the sauce, a special hollandaise. Here too, the chef uses all local products, such as oil from hand-pressed linseeds. Spreewald cuisine is always very original and very genuine. There are potatoes and cucumbers here, there are wonderful products and they're all authentic. The mixture of egg yolk, white wine, oil and butter is beaten at low heat until it's creamy. Now all the elements are ready to be arranged into a light meal for the Easter season. Served with a cool white wine, it makes for a perfect evening in southern Brandenburg.